actually torture, guys. My power bank has already run out of battery. My phone only has 40% left. The flashlight is almost out of battery too. And we are literally still in the Pacific Ocean. We're not even at Hawaii yet. I'm not sure, guys, if we could actually survive this. <laughs> I literally haven't uploaded anything for two years. Yep, two years. I'm not even exaggerating. It's literally been two years since my last video and this video. Because my last video was uploaded in 2016, and this video was uploaded in 2017. 2016 and 2017 are two separate years. You're welcome. But on a serious note, I'll explain why I haven't uploaded for so long at the end of this video, so make sure you stay until that point. But for now, since I owe you guys like 50 punishments, I'm just gonna unite them as one big challenge, which is, you seen from the title, I'm gonna be doing the human male challenge. Now, not just like any other type of human male challenge. Most human male challenges are 24 hour overnight challenges, but me, I currently live in Sydney. I'm gonna ship myself 10,000 miles east. Well, well, technically speaking, west. It doesn't even freaking matter what direction because it's to the other side of the world. North, south, east, west, you're still gonna get to the other side of the world, whichever direction you're going. It, it, it's true, go search up on the internet. But anyways, I'm gonna be shipping myself from Sydney, Australia, which is where I live. I said that twice. All the way to New York City in America! I have no idea where I got this reference from. If any of you guys could tell, tell me which movie this is from, that would be pretty much appreciated. But anyways, off topic. So I'm going to be shipping myself via UPS. And when you open up Google Maps, and uh, you click measure distance, but I actually drag it over here, just let me zoom in. I'm not going to zoom in too much because I don't want to expose my location. That will be pretty bad. So I said one point to Sydney, and another point to... Wait, freaking hell, Telstra, please. When you set the other point to New York, that is almost 10,000 miles or 16,000 kilometers for you metrican dudes. In fact, when you look online, there isn't even any flights that will fly non-stop. As you can see, I've typed in Sydney to New York direct. One plus stops. The world's longest range aircraft, which is a Boeing 777-200LR, it can only do 15,840 kilometers which is still 160 kilometers away from an actual Sydney to New York flight. Cal's friend, you better be happy. I actually wanted to do Sydney to London, which is uh, actually, uh, if, if you can look here, it's a thousand kilometers more, but I didn't do it because if I want to return back to Sydney, New York to Sydney is actually cheaper than London to Sydney, so I chose that route, not because I'm a cheap skank. But anyway, before I actually pack my stuff and get into the box, have you guys ever considered this? You know when you get to an airport, you literally have to go through literally like half an hour of x-rays and security checkups and all these sort of stuff. You know, these are kind of the things that make us miss our flight. In fact, now it's not only just airports that uses up x-ray. Now even ports or subway stations and even freaking some bus stops uses x-rays. So if I'm gonna ship like a 60 kilogram package, since I'm 56 kilograms, I'm fat. And if I have to stay in that box for four days, approximate, I'm going to well bring over four kilograms of stuff, maybe even five or six. So maybe that box is probably gonna get up to 61 or 62 kilograms. What if there's a thing that's actually worse than a human inside? What if the box is full of- Allahu Akbar! I shouldn't have included that. For you Muslim people out there, try not to get too triggered. Gosh, I should probably edit this out. Wait, what? Edit this out? I literally edit this crap in. It, it, I'm not even gonna bother. But anyways, what if I was trying to ship 60 kilograms of bombs and explosive or even diarrhea? Oh, good lord. You see, terrorism is actually becoming more and more of a problem each and every day. So they will have to x-ray everything. In fact, if technology doesn't advance, in 20 years, we'll probably have to strip naked while the inspectors check to see if there's anything in our clothes that are dangerous. Now, I'm not even exaggerating. Back in 2005, you only had to come to the airport 30 minutes before departure. And in 2009, 
it became 45 minutes. And in 2013, you have to come to the airport a full hour before departure. Check-in only takes about 10 minutes, 8 minutes queue, and 2 minutes actual check-in. And that leftover time is for x-rays and stuff. X-rays takes three times as much today as it was 10 years ago. If this crap continues on, then we have to arrive five hours earlier. I'd rather get a private jet and get private X-rays. That sounded wrong. So if I have to ship myself in a box, that will literally be mission impossible since they would X-ray the heck out of me. They're gonna X-ray and then they see a freaking skeleton inside of that box. I'm not even gonna... <laughs> I'm not gonna continue that story on. And so what I'm trying to say here is maiming yourself is literally impossible for anyone in the world. And if you type in human mail challenge, I can't believe people are still doing this. This video, upload my rice gum, sister sniper wolf, kill him, no biggie TV, Nate Nation, all of these videos. And the thumbnail's not loading because one word Telstra. All of these, every single one of these are total lies. This guy wasn't lying though. Unless, unless your box has some anti-x-ray mechanism, which is not for sale, and even if it was, it'll cost like a million dollars. Sorry to spoil it, but it's total bullcrap. So I'm sorry you just got clickbaited. This just had to happen. Now you might possibly say, but Oscar, your pre-intro, your location was in the Pacific Ocean. Guys, that was Photoshop. I turned off my location services, I took a screenshot of my phone, then I went on Photoshop and then I added that cursor into my phone and then I exported it back to my phone. I mean, come on, it didn't even look that obvious. I was behind a freaking white wall. So I'm sorry guys, you just got clickbaited, but I had to. I needed to stop the human mail challenge. So to fill up the remaining length of this video, I don't want to just do what normal YouTubers will do in this instant and just put on a black screen for the remainder of this video. So I'm just gonna address some more channel news and changes for 2017. So if you were the clickbaited guys, you might not be interested in this, but I have to say stuff out to my subscribers. I'm not a cheap skank, I actually do stuff legit. I don't waste my video time. Every single second in my video counts, so let's just get into the news. I feel like I'm talking too much. Now, first of all, you may or may not have noticed this, but the background noise is insane. You probably heard this when the music stopped for a couple of times, but I'm gonna stop it right now. You guys hear that? I'm gonna turn up a little bit. You hear that crap? I try my best to actually speak at a louder volume. As you could notice, I'm literally like shouting right now. It doesn't look like it, but I'm, I'm shouting right now. So I tried to cover the background noise and... The reason why it's so noisy is it's because it's freaking 32 degrees Celsius right now. I have to turn the fan all the way up to maximum my, and my computer's fans too. I've turned the top fan, fan on the top of the computer to 2000 RPM and a PCI fan to 2500. It's actually going to be a bit noisier tomorrow as it's going to be hotter. I might actually have to turn my fans to 3000 RPM because tomorrow I'll go back to my normal routine which, spoiler alert, it's going to be Minecraft and the Black Watchmen. And now another topic that I want to address. I didn't want anything to come up to this, but I've been keeping this a secret for like three months now. But, uh... I'm not satisfied with my subscriber count. And before you think that I'm gonna quit YouTube, I'm not a retard. I don't do that as a rule. And throughout this video, I might act like I'm shouting to you 24-7. Combine that with the fact that I'm actually shouting right now because of the background noise. Hopefully the music will also make you think that I'm not shouting at you. But if you get triggered easily, you might want to skip this video ahead like 3 or 4 minutes. Because uh, I say some pretty offensive stuff. Just set... No, no, I, you know what, let's just get right into the video, alright? You don't get triggered easily, alright? Okay? Let's just get right on, alright? You don't get... Freaking A. Just let me explain everything, alright? So I've been doing this channel for about uh, half a year, seven months now. I mean, I did have a lot of AFK breaks from anywhere to like a month even from here and there. But for the most part, I'm pretty active. I post about 60 videos. Each video, except for the short ones, go through a lot of processing. First, I have to script it just a little bit. Most of my newer videos have scripts. The one you're watching right now is scripted. Most of my announcements have scripts. And this one. I mean, I don't even know what this video is. 
So scripting usually takes around 5 to 10 minutes just for my main parts, intro and whatnot. Then I will have to think of a pre-intro, which will take 15 minutes if I don't have any inspiration. Then anywhere from 20 minutes for quick videos, all the way to an hour for the Black Watchmen videos. For recording, then editing will take about 45 minutes. Then rendering, I mean, granted I could do other stuff while rendering, but it takes a half an hour with my two 970s. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, you have two 970s and it still takes you half an hour to render a 15 minute video? Alienware is stupid. Come look at this. Look at the size of one of my videos. For example, this video. This one is actually 13 minutes. This thing alone is 814 megabytes. That's because if you look here, I render every single one of my videos at 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames a second at 8,000 kilobits per second, which I'm actually going to increase to 12,000 kilobits per second now for most of my newer videos. Since YouTube starts displaying 1080p 60fps videos at 12,000 fps now, I actually wonder how much space that this one folder has taken alone. 60 gigabytes. I have done 60 gigabytes worth of videos. It's almost as big as this Grand Theft Auto 5 folder, which is 61 gigabytes. And keep in mind, Grand Theft Auto, it has like all these sort of graphics and things and stuff like that. It has like infinite voice acting and all this sort of crap. And it's only 61 gigabytes. My videos all added together is also 60 gigabytes. Oh yeah, by the way, I created a new folder for YouTube, mainly for my OCD purposes. But anyway, off topic, I'll get more into that later. After rendering the video, I'll have to upload it to YouTube. And the upload speed on my internet is... I'll describe it in one word. Telstra. So if you add them all up, that'll be 10 for scripting, 15 for pre 45 for recording, 45 for editing, 30 for rendering, although that doesn't really count, 10 for description writing and stuff, and a lot for uploading, which doesn't really count either. That'll be two hours and a bit. Well, I'm doing, well, I'm doing two videos a day currently, which makes it almost five hours every day. 20% of my day all eaten up by YouTube. Once again, that might not sound like a lot, but I'm in my childhood years, not really. And if I don't spend that time wisely, I'll never get it back. And get this, 90% of the population doesn't even watch my video until the very end. Usually like one or two, or in extreme cases, no one watches my videos until the very end. Time wasted. Now for my other channel, I got 73 subscribers. Literally by making 30 videos, and 10 of them that were made in 2015 were total bullcrap. The resolution was 720p 30fps, the audio quality is hell. In fact, I want to show you something. 9, almost 10 months ago, I made my first 2016 video. You see, am, these dude. videos aren't totally really am. actually that cringy. Oh, it's if you can, if you can, so This is still so, crap that I still do today. You know what? And what? my voice, as well as my visual looks. They still look the same. Look at this. I'm gonna put this side by side. No, it's probably not a good pose, but my headphones aren't as broken. And look, I was actually not that different from that person. I mean, now I actually move my webcam a bit higher. And of course I have this lamp, which makes it a little bit brighter. And uh, I didn't have as much pimples, good freaking lord. But that still look pretty much like me. In fact, I'm still wearing the same shirt as I wore in this video. Now when you go back 5 months earlier to this video You, you can't even watch this for- Oh my and god And here we go again The same guy You can't even watch this for 2 horrible seconds video. Just and ho horrible Just you're horrible You're cringe no, like hell and, and look at this My voice is literally like I don't even know what it's like And look at me Wait hold on let me just find a, a view that I, when I actually zoomed in my face Yeah there we go that works that works Who the freak is that guy? So what I'm trying to say here is this video that you're currently watching right now and this video was 9 months apart and uh, it didn't really differ that much. I mean, I got a new microphone, I got a lamp and uh, it was, it, my videos are a little bit higher quality but it doesn't really matter. So 9 months gap isn't that much. Now, this video and this video has a 5 month gap. The freak! It's like 10 crappy videos and like 15 okay ones and 5 good ones. 73 subscribers. Now it's this channel. Only like two or three crappy videos. You can guess which one. 40 okay ones and 20 good ones. I'd say 38. See, I don't get YouTube. In fact, I even invested money into YouTube. 
I bought my entire computer ju just for YouTube. Well, not really part of it. I was actually debating whether I should get two 970s or one 980 Ti. They both cost the same. And before you actually caught me a butt dung, that was before the 10 series came out. So just don't call me a butt dung. So the two graphics cards, well, technically three, the two options. They all cost the same, but the 980 Ti can run games about 10 to 20% faster than the... And it could display 4K without any lag. Compared to two 970s, which I'm currently experiencing some lag with 4K, once even went straight nope and just crashed. And keeping everything single file is just so much better. But I needed a computer that would suit me for recording purposes. And recording will take up around a gigabyte of VRAM itself. Rendering? It doesn't care what's inside your graphics card, it wants more VRAM. So that's why I chose the two 970s. In fact, if you go online and find answers whether dual 970s are better or single 980 Ti is better, the majority of the population will say that the 980 Ti is way better. Making videos take up a lot of VRAM, so the two extra gigabytes mean a lot to me. And for something out of the computer world, my webcam is currently a Logitech C920 which cost $160 when I bought it. For a freaking camera. It can record 1080p 30fps even though I use 60 in my videos but there's no such thing as 60fps webcam. I do have a Microsoft LifeCam 5000 before I actually bought the camera but that thing records in 720p so I really didn't get to use it. And that lamp over there which often blinds me every 2 seconds that I could actually switch on and off, just I, I, I have to do this, you, you see, I'm switching it on and off, which, which actually causes a lot of chaos for the videos, I'm, I'm not sure why. That costs $20, and also this microphone that I'm using right now, the sound quality should change, can you see it? The sound quality change, it has to have changed. It might be a bit distorted, or it might pick up some more background noise, but whatever. That costs $140. I also paid seventy dollars for Wondershare Filmora, so I can edit fifteen dollars a month for Photoshop for thumbnails and five dollars a month for XSplit for recording. So add them all up together: software, webcam, lamp, and microphone, three hundred twenty dollars. And for the computer, well, do nine seventies is pretty much equal to a nine eighty with extra VRAM and 980 is about one hundred fifty dollars cheaper than the dual nine seventies. So in total. $470 invested into YouTube. So you see, I spent so much of my time and effort and money in making these videos and no one is really watching them. Every second video only earns me about one subscriber. And for some reason, I have more Instagram followers than YouTube subscribers. So yeah, I'm literally spending five hours to earn not even one subscriber. You know, I could just use that other strategy and it could be faster. I could create 50 fake YouTube accounts in five hours. But I didn't choose to go that way. I don't want to be a piece of toilet paper that wipes butts all day. <sighs> My jokes are not mature at all. But anyways, that probably took more than two or three minutes to talk about. That probably even crossed the 10 minute border if it's but probably not. But on to my next topic. For you guys that get easily triggered, you could watch this video normally now. From now on, to celebrate 2017, which has not been a really good year so far. I mean, I did get some shout outs. And, and as I said earlier, I'll start rendering my videos at 12 megabits per second instead of 8. So what does this mean? My content will still stay 1080p and it will always stay 1080p except for some videos. For example, the Ice Bucket Chan video because I lost the bet. That will be in 4K. As well as my Clash Royale video, my phone vertically could can support 1440p. So that video will be in 1440p. And also a video title, Can Dual 970s Run 4K? Which will be coming out soon, which of course is in 4K. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about 4K when I'm not even recording at 4K. What the f- Oh my god. And now on to my final topic, merchandise. It's just a very quick topic, although this might actually get over time. Just to finish off this video, just in case this video is shorter than usual. And those people actually wouldn't believe I mailed myself in, in a box. Now, if you're from my school, or if you just know me in general, you will know that I have a Mighty Eagle 73 shirt and a phone case too. Right over here. But you, just, you, you see right here, I actually showed, demonstrated at this phone case in actually a couple of my videos. Many of you guys actually wanted to buy my merchandise. Some even want to pay $30 for it. But let me just tell you guys, it doesn't work like that. 
for my shirt, it freaking cost me $120 Australian, $25 for the shirt, $5 for shipping, which I actually got upgraded to express shipping for an extra $10 because I'm an impatient dude. Then I got fined $60 USD for using copyrighted content, which equals to about $80 Australian or to be exact, 79.32. But that's pretty close to $80, so let's just assume that it was. So if you want to buy my shirt, that's going to be $119.32. That's how much I paid for mine. It's actually going to become more because AUD is dropping like hell. It's probably going to cost like $125 today. My phone case actually didn't get copyrighted for some reason, even though I used the copyrighted content. My phone case is $39.99, and it includes shipping. Nice guys. I actually did pay for that extra protection option though, which cost me $5 extra and actually makes my phone almost a centimeter thick, but it's fine. But you can actually use my phone case design and actually buy for yourself. Film in the comments and uh, I'll give you the link to the image for you. But for the shirt, I don't even have to design anymore. So sorry, no. But you can customize your own shirt at like five different shirt printers. So I don't even know why you even want mine you could customize your own so why i personally myself use broad shirt and for phone cases you could also go to another variety of case dealers and if you want to get your minecraft skin thing go to www.novaskin.com and uh i'm not sponsored why the hell am i telling you guys all this crap anyways guys i'm afraid i'll end up this episode here hope you guys have enjoyed and didn't get too mad at my human male lie please like and subscribe and uh yeah as promised i will tell you guys why i didn't upload for so long because i shipped myself to new york happy birthday everyone oh crap i blinked